All right, we'll, we'll talk about Okay, pretty much what happened was we go to this bar. We go to this bar and um, we're drinking. I don't remember who's there. There's husband, there's me, there's Bam, there's Hugo. Uh, Fizzy and Milk Tea are there. Zoo, Vish. I don't remember if I'm missing anyone else. Oh, Bobak. Bobak was there. And, uh, you know, we're just hanging out. We're, we're having a good night. This is the same bar that we went to the previous day. And uh, turns out... Yeah, Fizzy the Slippy God. That's the one. Big fun with the two months... With the six months tier two. Thank you. Work has kept me from your streams for a bit, but I'm glad I could make it in after a while. You're good, fam. Don't worry. Don't worry. Big fun. I'm just in the middle of a story here. But anyways... Um, yeah, so pretty much it's the same bar we went to the past day, the, the day before we went there, and, you know, we had a good time, because everything was so full. So, we go there, and we're having some drinks, uh, turns out, uh, Zoo ends up ordering McDonald's. I'm pretty sure Hugo did not mention this part. It's irrelevant, I mean, it's kind of relevant for the full gist of it, but he ends up ordering McDonald's, uh, Zoo does, because, I don't know, people are hungry or whatever. I asked for a Big Mac, I don't know why. Irrelevant as well, but it is part of the story. You have to say the complete story when it comes to these things. And, um... Yeah, so, we were... Why is this guy lagging? WHY IS HE LAGGING?! Alright, GG's. Anyways, um... So, you know, the, the bar is closing. It's like, uh, it's what? Like 140, 150? And the food is there, so they start eating. I'm, you know, standing. I, I don't, I eat quick. Like I don't, I don't have issues with taking too long. But anyways, I guess the people were trying to enjoy their food, right? Anyways, uh, Milty gets up or Fizzy. I don't remember which of the two. Uh, they get up and they go to the bathroom. What underwear am I wearing? I am not wearing underwear, my friend. I am as God brought me to this world. Irrelevant though, getting back to the story. Uh, anyways, uh, this guy comes through. I think this guy was inside the bar because we were outside the bar with some tables. It was a nice, it was a nice little spot. And he sits where Milk Tea is sitting. And okay, you know, we're like, we're not drunk. We just had a few beers. And um, I, I was super sober because I had to stay awake because my flight was early morning. So I only had a couple. Um, anyways, he sits down and he's talking garbage. I don't know, like friendly. Like he's still being friendly. He's not being annoying. But but then he starts talking about math. I don't know what Vish was talking about, but he was talking about like six and seven or something. And then the other guy, I assume, was drunk. And from far away, he probably thought they were like pointing at him, right? That's what I think. Because I think it's fair to say I have been in these situations a lot. And I have been and survived a lot of them. So, I don't know what happens. They're fighting, but I'm just there. I'm just watching. Like, because the guy's friendly still. Like, he's not looking for a confrontation. But he does sit at her table. And, um... Yeah, he's just like, uh, yeah, mm, what were you saying? I think you were talking about something. And then, uh, turns out, eventually, Milk Tea and Fizzy are back. And, you know, like... They're behind the guy because they don't want to be rude and they don't want to ask for the for the chair. Hugo the whole time is going like, yo, you know what? Uh, I think a friend is sitting there. Uh, can we have her table back? Can we have her chair back? Sorry. And he doesn't get up. He doesn't even listen. He's drunk, right? Uh, anyways, she's back. And um, Hugo says one more time, hey, uh, my friend is here. You think it's cool if uh, you give her back her seat? And then he looks, right? Cool. Okay, I guess he realizes it's a woman, I guess. And then he's like, well, yeah. But in drunk voice. Uh, yeah, tell her she can sit in my lap. Uh, ha, ha, ha. He said that, actually. Anyways, understandable. Hugo gets pissed off, but pissed off, like, in the moment pissed off because, you know, that's, like, offensive, right? So Hugo says, you know what? Get the fuck out of the chair. My friend's here. I need you get to give uh, my, my friend the chair back. And um, I don't remember what happens. I guess some of the other people that were with the guy heard it or stepped through and they're like yo you better watch out the way you're talking to my friend you better watch it you better watch your mouth you better watch it um yeah and then we're like explaining the situation this guy won't get off get up the chair and uh, our friend is back so um it comes to a point where some guy he um i don't want to get into semantics but um let's just say uh he only had one eye 
he had the battle scars. I don't want to say anything else, but maybe Hugo did. I don't know. Um, but anyways, he he starts going up. Oh, si le vuelves a hablar así a mi primo, te parto la madre. Te parto la madre. I'm right there, and I get a bit more serious because, like, the thing is, how do I explain it? Let me let me show you in pictures. Let me show you in pictures the way the way this is. Hold on. How do we do this? Paint. So let me show you guys the scenario. Let me show you guys the battleground. This is the table, right? This is the table. Earthquake. Earthquake. Thank you. Anyways, I'm here. I'm here. This is me. run at summit. I'll just put this in parentheses. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, Hugo's here. Hugo. And then Bam is like standing up here. And then here, I honestly don't remember who was sitting. Oh, I think it was Zane. Yeah, Zane was here. And then... I don't know. Let's just say... Anyways, Bobak. <laughs> I can't even write right now. Hold on. Bobak. Nice, nice letters. Uh, and then Milty and Fizzy were like around here. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. Hold on, hold on. Not this, not this. Uh, Milk... See, that, that was worse, actually. And and Fizz. are the, They're like the two people that are like in these seats here, right? And then here's like Zoo. And then I don't remember who else, honestly, to be honest. I don't remember. Like, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> but anyways, they, they got up, right? They're at the bathroom. So the guy comes in and steals the seat from behind. So he's sitting in this one. And then people are like, yo, can you give her a seat? And then... The thing is, Hugo was sitting here. He has his back towards this area, right? His back is here. So usually in fights, when you're at bar fights, usually what happens is, usually, not all the time, but when the person is usually not man enough to just like, you know, just like, what's up, let's fuck each other up, you know, in a confrontation. What they usually do is they leave as if it's all good, and then they come back and they sucker punch you from the back. Don't ask me the rules, this is just the way it works. Back home, I have gone through a lot of these situations. My friends getting hit through with uh, uh, beer bottles, etc, etc. What's up, Tarrant? But anyways, uh, Bam was here and he was fighting with the guy, right, that was sitting here. And I'm just watching. At the beginning, I didn't care too much. I'm just like, uh, well, this guy, he's drunk, but he's not offensive. He's just drunk. Uh, it's annoying, but we'll take care of it. But when the other guy, there were two other friends here. So this guy, I don't remember what he was saying. He looked friendly though. He, this guy F, I'll just say F as in friendly. Like he wasn't trying to make a scene. But this other guy hears uh, the situation when this guy comes in and he says, Yo Hugo, no le hables así a mi primo o te parto la madre. No le hables así a mi primo o te parto la madre. I'm gonna say it six more times for context. No le hables a mi, así a mi primo o te parto la madre. No le hables así a mi primo o te parto la madre. No le hables así a mi primo o te parto la madre. No le hables así a mi primo o te parto la madre. So, pretty much what I'm trying to say is he said it so many times to the point where it's like you kind of know it's just bullshit. He's just trying to intimidate. That's just, it's just bar stuff, you know, just trying to prove who the more alpha guy is. But he wouldn't shut up about it, so I didn't take him seriously. I'm still here, I'm watching, like I haven't moved, right? Bobak's here, he's standing up as well. Okay, okay, I'm, okay sorry, I was using the other monitor. Bobak's here, he's just watching. He's standing up, he's just smiling, and he's like, ha 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 ha. But you know, that kind of like scary, scary smile, we're just like, available. So that was him. And me, I'm actually just drinking. I didn't really pay too much too much attention because the way it seemed, it was like the guy that said, I'm going to partirte la madre. Partirte la madre basically means, uh, well, Hugo, actually, I told him this because he, he we were at the bar and he didn't know what it meant. <laughs> he didn't know what it meant. I think he thought the guy was like praising him or something. That's what I think. But anyways, I told him, bro, he's telling you... No, I mean, he kind of knows what it means, but he didn't know specifically what it meant. But I explained, no, this guy, he's saying he wants to fuck you up. Or, like, he's gonna fuck you up. But, yeah, I told him, and then he took it a bit more seriously. The point is, 
that guy wouldn't shut up. He went away. The guy, the guy that was friendly and drunk, he got up, he got away. And then the other guy got away because I don't know. They were like calling each other and they started to walk away. And so we thought, I'm like, okay, we're all good. But then it turns out that the guy, the Partirte La Madre guy, comes back and he starts talking to Hugo again. And this is where it gets scary because the moment they come back is that it means that they want problems. It means that this could escalate because they had already left. Everything was fine. Hugo was like, oh, you know what? Don't, you know, they're, they're drunk. We're not drunk. So we, you got to smart it out. You got to be like, oh, no, don't worry. It was just a misunderstanding, blah, 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 blah. I don't remember what he said. But the guy comes back and he, he keeps saying the same shit. And then he says, yo tengo dinero también, which pretty much means I have money too. Um, that doesn't make sense in English culture, but in Hispanic culture, it means like, like, who are you trying to intimidate, you know? Like, I got money too. Like, just because you're wearing this and this and that, like, it doesn't, you're not intimidating me. With no context, it kind of means that, like, yeah, do you want money, I guess. Also, this drawing is a mess. What happened here? But anyways, he comes back and he starts saying the same shit to Hugo. And that's where I get up. And I'm just, like, leaning here. I'm just leaning here. My arms are just here. Just think these are my hands. And I'm ready, you know, I'm available because uh, I like now you kind of know that like it's about to go down. Truth be told, I was kind of sleepy and I was kind of lit. Um, I'm not going to say I wanted to fight, but I was like I was down to like if it went down to it, I was down because it got it. The night got exciting, you know, it's been a while since I've thrown hands to be honest. But the bad thing was that I had the flight next day, so I'm like, mm, if if this becomes, if this becomes an issue, I'm gonna lose my f my flight. And I was like, mm, but I mean, I have to, because it's different if you're like by yourself and looking for a fight. But here, it's like you're, all your friends are here, and you know, like it's you can't like let the homies die, pretty much, right? So I was like, I mean, if it goes down, it goes down. But anyways, I get up and I'm just I'm, I put on like a more serious face. I don't talk at all. I'm just watching. It's just Hugo's doing all the talking. And the guy is just like, I have money too. I have money too. Yeah, you watch out next time you I see you, you will get your face broken in. That's what partite la madre means. Partite la madre means pretty much I'll mess you up or I'll mess your face up. It's like Mexican slang. Um, Yeah, and security never came out. That was very strange. I think they just were on the bar side. I have no idea. But the thing is... You ain't all that. Yeah, exactly. The thing is, uh, the bar was kicking us out. The bar was like, yo, it's 2 a.m. You guys got to head out. It's 2 a.m. We didn't have any drinks. We, the only reason we were staying there was because these guys were eating their McDonald's. And I myself said, yo, let's get out of here. These guys headed out. So they were like, no, 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 let's wait it out. Let's wait it out till they leave. But they're drunk. They never left. It turns out we ended up heading out and they, the guys were still there. And... Um, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Uh, yeah, what I was saying, so what I was trying to get at is Hugo left some details out. He was definitely correct in his story, but he didn't say he didn't know what Partirte La Madre means. So I assume he thought that they were they were praising him for his strength. <laughs> they were praising him for his streams in a very sketchy manner is what I think. But um, they were praising his Sam. Yeah, he thought they were praising his Samus. But no, he played it well. He didn't. He didn't. Well, also, the part I forgot to say is while all of this was happening, the the reason I mentioned the back thing, like that's where people get you through the back, is because at the beginning I was watching Hugo's back, right? Because nothing was going down, but these guys were behind him. I'm like, I'm scared these guys will come and hit him. But um, when they left and they came back, Bam kind of kind of like understood the issue as well, and he got up and he was like standing here. So while Bam had this guy's back, I was looking at the other guy being annoying. Um, like I said, I didn't talk or anything. Hugo talked in Spanish a bit to like kind of co communicate. I don't know. I guess to like to like show him like take it easy. You know, we're on the same team. We're we're one in the same. You know what I mean? Like it's just it's just like a like a thing to like calm the the, the situation. But um, yeah, his uh, his shitty Spanish gave it away. <laughs> It's pretty. Eh, it's not that. Sh it's not that shitty. It's it's okay. It's okay. But I mean, I think the the moment you don't realize that they're like kind of looking for a fight, I think it's it's not the best. 
but um yeah i didn't talk at all i was ready to talk but and i did want to talk but i was i was afraid that would escalate the situation so i just stayed quiet but yeah i was here i was ready i was just leaning into the table and uh nothing happened eventually he just left he said en la próxima que te vea te voy a partir la madre en la próxima que te vea te voy a partir la madre en la próxima que te vea te voy a partir la madre nine more times and then they left and um, yeah, that was the story. That was the story. That's uh, the actual. That's the actual uh, correct timeline of the events.